Welcome to the video by DJ SPRC. Today I just wanted to show uh, basically how you put an RC four-wheel drive rim together. Um, like these models here, uh, if I remember correctly, these are the, the slot mags 1.9 from RC four-wheel drive. I got a set done here. Uh, these guys compare of other of uh, RC full drive they're not that hard to do <clears throat> but they're not cheap these I think are buck 69 Canadian if I remember correctly I sorry I don't have the American price but if you look at these rims and and what comes with it what you would need to do with the other RC roll drive ones, it kind of makes sense. <clears throat> On opening the uh, package here, <clears throat> take the rims out. And what's fun about these guys here, they're reversible. Now you have, on the way they are mounted right now, uh, you have a wide and if you flip these around you'll get shorter but before i show you this exactly i'll show you what i mean uh, with the rims itself a lot of times you'll buy an rc full drive rim you're not going to want to see the bolt some people don't care me personally i don't want to see the bolt i'm trying to go for a stock look that you don't see a nut in the middle what's like I said, what I like about these guys here, they do come with a center cap, aluminum center cap. Now, if this camera wants to focus, not sure if it's going to want to. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, you see, it's a nice, uh, all aluminum with a nut. Now, while the camera decides to focus again, there we go. <clears throat> Some RC full drive uh, caps you'll buy and you'll only have the nut itself. On my ACX-10 II, I have the one with the warning in the front. I had to buy this tool that has small, let's call them spikes or I don't know how you can call them exactly but it's keyed and this cap keys directly into it that way you have something to tighten it on your wheel these are like I think 24 bucks Canadian and this is like 12 bucks Canadian and you need to buy four of these just for the sake of it let's say they're 20 bucks each that's 40 bucks right there now half of those Arsfold rims you have to buy you have to buy the X because it comes with pins because their rims are mostly made for the trail finder. The trail finder doesn't have X's. Maybe the newer ones, but the older style did it. But these guys comes with X's. And the X's, I think they're maybe 30 bucks, 39 bucks Canadian for four. Yes, you do have different offset, but this, it's the rim itself. You can transfer this on this side to get zero offset or big offset. Basically, what I want to do to my new uh, rig is have major offset. Just for crawling, the wider it is, more stable it is. Now, on certain terrain, that might be a disadvantage for me because I might not fit but personally I don't do competitions uh, I go play for a bunch of friends and we just have fun I am staying in the rules 1.9s uh, I'm not gonna go 2 mil but 2 mil 2.2s I'm trying to keep the machine as, uh, how can I say it exactly, stock looking. 
Now I do have the SCX-10 III, uh, the Jeep Wrangler. I think it's the Jeep Wrangler uh, Rubicon JLU. I want to be building very soon. And these are the rims going to be for it. Now, when you dismantle these guys here, it comes with all the pieces right here. I'm just going to put it aside. You have your back ring or your front ring, front or back ring, depending where you're going to install these. Now, like I said, these you can install inside and barely have any offset. These are the same. But again, like I said, I'm going to go with the widest as possible. And I'm going to go with the Trenchers 1.9 G8 Rock Terrain truck tire. Open the package. <clears throat> And some will ask why I'm choosing these guys here. I like the tread. They're soft. And with my, even my bash, certain of my bashers, that's what I have, uh, the trenchers. I just like them. They're awesome. Um, and I heard a lot of great stuff about these guys here. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is it true or not? I'm not sure, I'll be honest with you. But some, uh, some of the tires will have a dot on this side. And some won't. Uh, what I did, I tried to put the dots on one side. And the other ones, I'm going to put the dot on the opposite. I don't think they are directional. But just in case if they are, at least they'll all be matching. You take your center ring. You're going to insert it in the tire itself. I just play with it to make sure it is seated inside. You'll see this, the ring has a kind of a, a bead all around and you want your bead of your tire to lay in it. Now, dot this side I'm going to take this guy here insert it then I'm going to take my other one do the same thing but what I'm going to do I'm going to pay attention where my holes are because this you can look at it up <laughs> where this aligns in the middle they're pretty much all in the middle some won't like the ones on my uh, ACX-10 II, they were a pain to do. Now you're just going to insert it. And for some reason, this one is giving me a headache. <clears throat> Come on, you booger. I feel like something's catching it. Sometimes, too, the other thing, too, it's going to be your phone. You have to be careful. Let's try this again. I think I just got it. There we go. Now, once this is done, I'm just gonna make sure I kind of see my bead is seated. This one looks a little bit weird, but we'll start building it. What I'm going to do, insert one of the nuts. There my screwdriver. And make sure I see it come on the other side. I'm going to grab my hex. 
align it. This is where it becomes a little bit trickier. Once you started one, I stop. I don't go all the way. I'm going to go opposite side and try to start another one. You will need to put a little bit of pressure to get it started. Now I am using the RC photo drive screwdrivers and I don't, I like them, but I don't like them. What I'm going to end up doing here is grabbing the nut that comes with it. That This is what I use for the other guys and it went super well. You have to use a 2.5 mil and it inserts itself. Okay, I started again. I'm going to look at my bead. Make sure it's seated correctly all around. There we go. That's seated. And I'm going to insert another nut. Put a little bit of pressure, feel it grabbing, stop, grab another one, same thing. Now the other ones will be a little bit easier to do, simple reason because half of the other ones are in. Now I heard a lot of people use uh, electric screwdrivers, uh, drills, well, I don't because these are super easy to strip. And now basically I'm just going to go like at a star, star pattern like you do on a real vehicle to tighten these up. That way I'll know to be equal force. until I can't feel them go nowhere anymore. And again, like I said, I don't use drills uh, or impactors. I just go by hand until I know it won't go anymore. And this is almost done. Now I did not put any Loctite, I don't. Once in a while I do recheck them. Oops. And there we go. And again, I recheck my bead. to make sure it did not pop anything. And there you go. Now I'm going to do the other one off camera. I'm not going to bore you guys uh, to see me do another one. If you guys have any comments or, or questions, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. Uh, and don't forget, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. I do appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button does help the channel a lot. Thank you for watching.